All right, Coach, thank you for being here this morning. Um, you've been at MC for quite a while, 16 wow. years, very successful basketball coach, and now entering into your 15th season as athletic director. Tell me about how this process, transitioning from Division II, excuse me, Division Three to Division Two, has been for you. Well, it's been exciting is the first thing, and it's been rewarding. Uh, it's a complex process, but it's been a rewarding process. And I think that uh, we have seen so many things happen to the positive uh, that uh, we are certainly enjoying it. Our, I know our coaches are. Uh, you know, we're able to recruit uh, 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 athletes and give them scholarships. So that's been a very positive. And then even our community and our, I think our faculty, our staff, our students, uh, they've all bought into it. Uh, our former alumni uh, that were Division Two, they have all come back. And then our Division Three folks, uh, they, they are, I think, embracing it too. So uh, at this point, it's been all positive. Uh, we're still not where we want to be, but uh, we're, we're headed in the right direction. As far as football goes, um, anytime you move divisions, it's obviously going to be a huge transition. And somewhat of a rebuilding time, uh, moving from um, the American Southwest Conference to the GSC. Um, big move, big transition. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough road. So tell me about, tell me about that. Well, when you look at the, you know, the, the big picture, uh, I, everything's happened that, that uh, I thought would happen. Uh, the sports that I thought would be competitive quicker have. And the sports that, uh, that haven't done as well as, as what I thought would happen. And in and, and all honesty, you know, football has got so many moving parts, so many people, and, and in a lot of sports you can take two guys or three guys or two girls or three girls and have immediate success. Mm -hmm. In football, that's not going to happen. So it's going to be a longer process, but we're making uh, strides to, the, to where we want to be. We've narrowed the gap. We've had uh, two very good recruiting years and, and have an expectation to have another good recruiting year. And so when we get all of our, our guys in here and then on that fourth and fifth year that these new guys come in, I think you will start seeing us be very competitive. So it, it's a longer process. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the other sports are gonna take longer too. In 2014, the Choctaws were one and nine. In 2015, the Choctaws were two and eight. In this season, with one game to go, three and six on the season. Do you think that 2016 has kind of been a turning point for the MC football program? There's no question because of, of how we've narrowed the gap. And you know, some of the schools that, that had, had beaten us very badly, we had opportunities to win this year. Uh, you look at West Georgia and Valdosta, we, we had chances to win both of those games. And then last week, you know, we shut out shorter in our first Gus South Conference win. So yes, I think it's a turning point, and I think it's given our kids confidence. Uh, you know, I know that they're not happy, and don't expect them to be. But they also have uh, have had a hard time, and they and they're a big part of building a foundation for our future. And I think that these kids have done a great job, and I'm, I'm real, real proud of our coaches in in all areas. Speaking of coaches, um, when Coach Bland came in in 2014. Uh, he knew that this would be a long road, like you said. How have you kind of been an encouragement to him over the past few years? Well, I, I try to talk to him uh, each, uh, each game day, after the games, before the games. I try to go by and see the coaches. I try to encourage them uh, and, and tell them wrong wasn't built in, you know, in a day. I try to tell them there's a, it, we're, we're doing the things that we're supposed to do. And let me say something about our football staff. They do it right, and, and, and in all areas, and I'm talking about from recruiting to paperwork, uh, they, and, and following the rules, they do everything the right way. And I'm convinced that uh, when you do it the right way, you're gonna reap rewards. I don't know when that time's gonna come, but all of our coaches are doing it the right way. Uh, we have gone through a great process. We've had a great team. Our compliance areas are the toughest part, and Coach Muscle White has done an incredible job, her and Whitney, in educating not only our coaches, but our faculty, our staff. And so we're, we're, we're real proud of where we are. Uh, but, you know, I, I know, you know, Coach, uh, Coach Bland has never been a loser, and he's not a loser. Mm -hmm. His staff's not a loser. So uh, I know sometimes they get frustrated, but we, we try to encourage all of our coaches 
that are having a difficult time, but but they're they're going to be they're going to be uh, winners in the near future. What would you what would be your message to the Choctaw faithful that have been here since day one, uh, moving forward? Our time is near, and we will be champions uh, in in uh, in some sports in the very very near future. And this year we as you know as you look at soccer and uh, men and women's soccer. Uh, that was, a, a, I think, a great thing. And, and let's wait and see what happens in the spring. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. Thank Appreciate you. it.